welcome everyone to another video. Today we're going to be doing once again another Philippine Ferry. This time, the Mabuhay One. So, let's get into it. The story of this ship occurred when the Philippine shipping industry was at its peak, and William Lines wanted to get into the flagship war that was ha happening at the time. They were extremely jealous of Sulpicia Line's new vessel, the Princess of the Orient, as it was very big and luxurious. Anything you would want. And it was also fast. Upon visiting Japan, the chairman of William Lines was impressed of one vessel, the Sunflower 5, which was sister to the Sunflower 8, which would be the future Princess of New Unity. Coming soon. Upon being bought by William Lines, she was the first of the Mabuhai class of ships. She was barely actually changed because her design was already very modern, and the ramps on the front were also very cool because they had one on each side, something the CEO really liked. She also had a swimming pool and a small playground. William Gothic and Aboitis merged, and on the first day of 1996, finally, the, the Mabuhai One was renamed as the Super Ferry 10, mainly because 10 is a lucky number and there was already a Super Ferry One. Really, the only thing that was changed on her entry into WG&A was that her gross registered ch tons changed to around 13,000. A lot of this ship's history is really uneventful, but sadly, the Mabuhai one was scrapped. Why? Well, because Gothug wanted to pull out of the merger, and so did William Lines. Gothug pulled out of the merger and surprisingly survived. However, William Lines did not, and so the ship was one of the victims of this rapid decline and was scrapped. Aboitis then launched the Super Ferry brand officially, and later merged again into Tugo Inc. with Negros Navigation. In fact, the Super Ferry 9 that I did a video on was formerly the Mabuhai 5, and so it actually survived and went right into the days of Super Ferry until its sinking in 2009. And that's it for the Mabuhai 1. Do you have any stories to share about this ship? Have you been on it? Well, please leave your comment below. I'd love to hear it. And as always, please subscribe and bye.